If you're an independent podcaster that's curious about how you could start monetizing your podcast, you are watching the right video. Because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the three ways that Buzzsprout helps podcasters like you start earning some revenue from your audience. And so we're going to walk through the support the show feature, which allows your listeners to contribute directly to your podcast. We're going to talk about the affiliate marketplace, which is where you can partner with other brands to promote their products and services to your audience. And then also we're gonna talk about how to get sponsors. And we have this really cool integration set up with Podcorn, which is the premier podcast sponsorship marketplace for independent podcasters and how you can get set up with that. And also how you can add custom sponsorships to your show notes using Buzzsprout's custom brand feature. So we're gonna cover all of that in this video. And at the end, you'll know which strategy is best for you. So to get set up with your support show link, all you have to do is navigate to the monetization tab in your Buzzsprout dashboard, and then go to the support show link link here. When you click on that, it'll bring you to this page. Now on this page, it explains how these donation links work. We also have links to several different websites that you can set up to help collect money for your podcast. So Patreon is a really popular one, PayPal, Cash App, Buy me a coffee, that's that's a fun one. So you can click on any of these to set up a website where you can collect money for your podcast. And then once you get that set up, all you have to do is take that link and put it right here. So you'd put paypal.com slash whatever your unique link is, okay? Now, once you put this link in here and click save link, it's gonna show up in several places to make it really easy for your listeners to take action to click that link and to support your show. The first place that it's gonna show up is in your show notes. So if we go to this episode of the Smart Dog Podcast and we scroll down, you'll see that now this support the show link is at the bottom of the episode description. And next to it, we have the naked URL. So that way people know what link they're clicking when they click on that. But we add this automatically to every single one of your episodes. The next place that we're gonna put this link that you just gave us, the support show link, is on your Buzzsprout podcast website. So let me show you where that is. So this is an example of a website that you get when you sign up for Buzzsprout that you can use for your podcast. And the benefit here is that anyone, no matter what kind of device they're listening on, can listen to your podcast episodes and it's not dependent on the kinds of apps they have on their phone. Now, you'll notice this little icon up in the top right. That button is to support your show. So if someone comes to your website and clicks on that button, it will take them directly to the link that you put in that support show link field. The other place that it'll show up is in your episode. So if we go to the episode, you will notice that the support show link is still in the top right corner, but then in the player, if you hover over it and click this share button, we also put it here. And so anyone who is listening to your podcast, either on your Buzzsprout podcast website, or if you embed this player, this episode player in your own website, we will put this link here in the embed player. So to recap, when you put your support show link here in this field, we're gonna add your link at the bottom of every single one of your podcast episode descriptions or show notes. We're gonna add it to the button that shows up in the top right corner of your podcast website, your Buzzsprout podcast website. We're also going to place it inside of your embed player. So if you embed your podcast player on your own website, your listeners will also be able to click in there to go to your support show link. So to get to the affiliate marketplace, once you've logged into your Buzzsprout account, is go to the monetization tab and then affiliate marketplace. Now. When you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this blurb talking about why the affiliate marketplace is the bee's knees for podcasters. And then you'll also see the three companies we have partnered with in addition to Buzzsprout to help you get started with affiliate marketing. Now, if you are new to the idea of affiliate marketing and you wanna learn more about it, I will leave links in the video description below to a couple of helpful videos and blogs that we have written about it to help you get started. Now, when you're ready to get signed up as an affiliate, all you would do is choose the brand or product that you're familiar with. So let's go with Instacart and just click become an affiliate. And then I'll take you to this screen. And so here we've typed up a little blurb explaining who Instacart is and what they do. And then we also at the bottom have a list of bullet points of things that you can mention when you're promoting Instacart, also things not to say 
as a part of your affiliate promotion. And we've even recorded an example of an ad. Now, when you want to sign up for the Instacart affiliate program, all you have to do is click this link to fill out their form. Now, once you fill out that form and submit it, you'll get an email typically within 48 hours with your affiliate link. And that is what you will put here. And you can do this for all of the affiliate companies here in the marketplace. The one for Buzzsprout is actually much simpler because all you would have to do for us is put in your PayPal email address. And then this is your affiliate URL. Whenever someone joins Buzzsprout after clicking this link, it will attach it to your account. And if they sign up on a paid plan, you get 25 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Now, let's say that there's a product or a service that you want to promote that is not in these four. You can easily add it in the custom brands section of the affiliate marketplace. So you just scroll down a little bit. I went ahead and added two examples in here just to show you what it'll look like once you add your own custom brands. So we've got Hungry Root, which is kind of like Blue Apron, and then a link to a product, a microphone that we recommend often for new podcasters. So when you go into add these affiliates, you can see it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is uh, choose your headline, choose the description that you want to put in here. This is totally customizable. Use your affiliate URL and put that in here. And then also add an artwork. And so you'll want it to be at least 400 pixels wide and square is best, but anything above 400 pixels is great. And so what'll happen once you add this custom affiliate to your Buzzsprout account is now every single time you mention this particular product or do a promotion on your episode, you can easily add it into your podcast's show notes. So let me show you what that looks like. First, we're gonna go up to the episodes and then we're gonna go to an episode where I know that we actually talked about Hungry Root. So here in this episode, three ways to monetize your podcast with Buzzsprout, which we published July 31st of 2020. Over here on the right side column, you can see the option to add a brand mention. So when you click on this, it will automatically bring in any custom brands that you've added and any brands from the affiliate marketplace or any sponsors that you set up that will show up here as well. And so all you have to do is click on the brand that you mentioned, click save mention, and then at the bottom of your show notes, we will add your affiliate link right there. So this link goes in your podcast show notes. It shows up in all the podcast directories, all the apps where people listen. So when you instruct your listeners to go and click the affiliate link in the show notes, we've already put that there. So you don't have to worry about copying it and pasting it or you know adding this verbiage here. And then also adding this disclaimer, which you have to disclose when you are using affiliate links. It is against the law to not do so. <laughs> and so be upfront when you're using affiliate links, but we also add this disclaimer in automatically. So you don't even have to worry about forgetting to add that. Now, you might have noticed that this Samsung Q2U is not a company, it is a product. And so if we go back to the affiliate marketplace and we go to our custom brands, you'll notice that it is just an affiliate link to B&H Photo Video, but this could very easily be an Amazon affiliate link. And this affiliate artwork is something that we whipped up. You can make your own affiliate artwork in Canva. It does not have to be the logo of the company you're promoting. You could really do anything you want here. And what's really cool is this affiliate artwork is gonna show up on the podcast website that Buzzsprout gives you every single time you add a brand mention. So if we go to the website for the three ways to monetize your podcast episode, you will see in the show notes, boom, Hungry Root with this beautiful image, the headline, the description, and then same thing here. We got the Samsung Q2U, we got Albin's shining face, our custom artwork that says Samsung Q2U with a little arrow, and then our blurb, our go-to microphone for new podcasters. Now, in addition to adding the affiliate link here in your show notes, each of these images is also an affiliate link. So if someone comes to your podcast website and they're like, oh, I wanna check out Hungry Root, They'll see this image. If they click on it, it will use your affiliate link to send them directly to Hungry Roots website and you would get credit for any purchases or signups that you generate from your podcast. So in order to navigate to the sponsors area of your Buzzsprout dashboard, you first go to the monetization tab and then sponsors is the first tab. So it'll typically be the one that opens first. And down here, you can see there's two options. You can either add a sponsor 
If you already have a sponsor for your podcast, if you're working with a local company or if you have an existing relationship, you can add them very easily and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But if you don't yet have a sponsor, then you'll wanna start over here with Podcorn. So when you click on that button, we'll take you to this page in your Buzzsprout account, which essentially walks you through the three-step process of getting set up with Podcorn. Now, Podcorn is like a matchmaking service for podcasters and companies, making that connection between the podcast hosts that want to find sponsors and the companies that want to sponsor podcasts. So all you have to do is click this link. It'll take you to Podcorn's website where you create an account with just a few simple steps, just giving them some information about your podcast and setting up your user account. And then you'll need to have this box checked here. So this allows Podcorn to double check your download numbers once you start working with brands and sponsors. Oftentimes, you'll be negotiating your rates based on how many downloads or plays their episodes get. And so you'll want Podcorn to be able to verify that for the sponsor on your behalf. So you'll wanna make sure that you have this checked. And then once you do that, all you have to do is go into Podcorn, find and secure sponsors for your show, and then once you have done that, bring them into Buzzsprout. So when you first log into Podcorn, this is gonna be your dashboard. You'll see all of your current campaigns and where they are in the process, and then you'll also see a calendar over here on the right side of the different slots that are available and which ones are filled or not. But when you're first getting started, you'll first need to find some sponsors. So all you do is go up to the Sponsorships tab up here at the top. Now, once you click on that, Podcorn will automatically generate a list of all of the companies and brands that are looking for podcasts like yours. And then from here, you would just go through the list and see who is looking for podcast sponsorship. So we have custom puppet telegrams, very interesting. Hulu. So if you've ever used Hulu before, they are currently looking for podcasts to sponsor. And if you wanted to see more about what this would look like, then you would just click view details. And so here you can see that they're looking for podcasters that want to promote their new original series that's launching on October 16th, and specifically they're looking for podcasts that are in these genres. So if you have a podcast in the horror, sci-fi, comic book, or true crime category, then this could be really great. You can see that they're looking for a pre-roll ad read by the host, which would be you as the podcaster telling people about this new show and why they should check it out. And they're also looking for mid-roll slots. So if you wanted to send a proposal to Hulu, all you would need to do is click this button and then let Hulu know what you wanna to do to help them promote their episode. So as you can see, you can choose uh, any number of episodes. So let's say we wanna roll two pre-rolls and the fee per episode is gonna be $25. You would go over here, you would select your dates. So we'll let's say September 16th and September 23rd. And we're gonna do three mid-rolls. And the fee for that is gonna be $40 because it's a little longer of an ad. And then we'll choose three dates. So we'll choose these three dates. So once you've chosen the ad formats that you wanna to submit to the brand or the company, you're going to pitch yourself. So you can either do this by writing out a pitch or if you're really good on audio, which chances are you are if you're a podcaster, you could also record an audio file and send it to them. And in this pitch, what you wanna do is explain to the company that you wanna work with the value of sponsoring your podcast. What are the kind of episode topics that you like to cover and how do those things overlap with the overall goals of the company that you want to sponsor your podcast? So take the time to really create a well thought out pitch that explains why your podcast is going to benefit this company and help them drive whatever kind of end result they're looking for. So in this case, Hulu wants people to check out their new show. And so you'll want to explain why you will do a really good job of moving your listeners to go and check that show out. And once you have written that pitch out, you would just hit next. And then on this last screen, you'll have a chance to look over everything that you just typed up. So you'll be able to look at your different ad formats, the episode dates that those particular ads are going to drop, your details that you submitted, and then you'll just click send proposal. And that's it. That's all you have to do to pitch your podcast to companies and brands that are looking for podcasts just like yours to sponsor. Now, once you have secured a sponsor for your podcast, you'll want to add that information into Buzzsprout. So we're going to go back to the sponsor tab and click add a sponsor. Now here, you're going to add any details that you think are relevant. When you add your own sponsors using this feature, you will obviously add a different headline, you'll use a different link. 
I just want to show you an example so you know what it looks like when you add it to a podcast in Buzzsprout. You'll also be able to add some sponsor artwork, and I'll show you where this is going to pop up here in a second. You simply click the box and then add your image. Typically, you want it to be at least 400 pixels wide, either in the JPEG or the PNG format. Either one works, and then that is going to be the best. And then you click add this sponsor. So now, anytime that you promote Hulu on your podcast, you would simply use the brand mention feature. So if we go to the latest episode of Buzzcast, let's say that on this episode, we promoted Hulu. So we go down to promote a brand here on the right side of this episode, click add a brand mention. We would choose Hulu's newest show, which is the one we just created and click save mention. Now, when we do that, then at the bottom of your show notes, you will see that we've added the sponsor. So this gets automatically added to your show notes when you use that brand promo feature. And since I added this sponsor to our Buzzcast podcast, which is a podcast we produce internally at Buzzsprout, let me show you what it looks like on the Buzzcast podcast website, which is very similar to the website that you get when you sign up for Buzzsprout. So here is the episode that we just added the Hulu sponsorship to. And if we scroll down a little bit here in the show notes, you'll see We've added this really cool image. So that's the image we uploaded. It's got our headline. It's got our tagline. And so when one of your listeners comes to your Buzzsprout website and they want to go and check out the newest Hulu show, they could either click this image and it would take them directly to the website or they would click this link down here in your show notes. So now that you know the three ways that Buzzsprout helps you make money with your podcast, decide which one you think is going to be best for you which one you think is going to resonate with your audience the best and ultimately help you make the most money with the least amount of time investment on your part. Now, if you're an independent podcaster that's always on the lookout for new tactics, new strategies, and helpful resources to guide you on your podcasting journey, make sure you subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel because every single week we put out multiple videos covering everything from podcast gear and equipment reviews to software tutorials to strategy videos like you just watched. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep podcasting.